Okay, so Star Wars, you get this feeling from watching, you know, them practice Christian Haydenson and uh, Ewan McGregor back in the day behind the scenes for Star Wars 3, 2, and not 1 because he's not in that one supposedly. Even though at the end he's supposed to be in a scene, but let's, let's not get into that. Um, like, I get this feeling the whole time that they're stealing sword fighting moves and stringing them together. And I'm not saying, I'm not pointing fingers just at them, I'm saying the whole world is an industry of claiming you have originality when you're just copycatting. But it's entertainment, so who cares, you know? As long as the moves, you don't have them all line up the same, you know? We're just yeah. trying to get some entertainment out of this. And so anyways, um, what I thought about this is, you know, for like Wii games, the Wiimotes, there was never a good like Star Wars game, and everybody was demanding it. They're like, why can't you channel, 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 strike? So... Maybe with, uh, I don't know if for Wiimotes is possible, but it probably is. It has gyrometers and stuff. You could do it with that and whatever other controllers, PlayStation 3, you know, or whatever. Whatever else is available now. Um, it's like the gyrometer can track how quick you swing, and the speaker can make a noise like it can detect a, this, the sound, the wavelength of the speed can be picked up from the gyrometer, the data, Turn into an electrical wavelength that, you know, as you accelerate your speed of motion, that goes, and then when you hit, suppose you stop because you're copying the motion of a Jedi Master on screen because you're playing a game and simulating battling like he is, you know, or whatever to train, then, then everybody can get into the feel of, you know, actually ripping off everyone and saying, oh, well, this is just like dance moves. You just copy it and do it, you know? Yeah, exactly. And then everybody will finally get to shame all of the actors yeah. for not fucking uh, them and also paying them because yeah. they're fans because fuck you pay me you see yeah. what i'm saying so what i'm saying is you put the live sound of it tracking the movement of the gyrometer you turn that electricity wavelength that it has to put out for that constantly you distort it into the sound of lightsabers, you know, that's pretty easy, actually. Yeah. And then you have all the sounds, like you're striking, and that can be employed in the handle of actual lightsabers, and the gyrometer data can be available from the actual movie actors when they're striking, so then their actual motions can be in the video games that you can feel like you're doing what they were doing. I'm just saying, now pay me, you know, big stacks of money. Huge, enormous, yeah. fat stacks of money. I was already supposed to be in Star Wars in 99, as the cute little Anakin, you know, who races better than everyone else. So, you know, I'm, my, that money's stacking up. It's been some decades now. Yeah, and also, it's going to be harder and harder to steal lightsaber moves from anybody yeah. when the, you're all getting them from a playlist, like it's custom downloadable songs from... Um, uh, what's it called? Um, Guitar Hero. Yeah, yeah. Putting their like custom downloadable songs, and except it's yeah. just their move sets and you know, like a CG capture of them in training modes and things yeah. in Star Wars. Everybody's gonna be like, dude, you're just watching their demos of and their so tick I rate of their character the model moving this, around. You know, that comes out on PlayStation and whatever with Nintendo consoles and whatever else is available. You just call it, um... Make it for the Star Wii U. Star Wars lightsaber battles, you know? Yeah. And it's just focusing on the, you know, classic moments in different... You could even add the really plasticky wiffle ball bat attachments yeah, to the end of the lightsaber better than these, because these will break super easy yeah. that we have right here. And of course it's... And just, then actually yeah. tap into each other so there's a feeling of abrupt stopping if you were lightsaber battling and, yeah, like, do exactly. things. Yeah, exactly. And then you could actually battle each other two-player while... What I wanted the whole time, which is the console to pick up the movement, either you put those things on your head and then the console sensor bar tracks the things on your head, or like you're saying, you attach the lightsaber ends and then it has points on either one, and then the, the new Nintendo console, you know, that's going to project on the wall, can then have something that reads just the dots, you know, the yeah. red dots in the room, then it's tracking your, you know, lightsaber battle or whatever. So it's really easy, you know? Uh, yeah, but all I was trying to say was just, um, that, oh, never mind. <laughs>